Hi, I'm Dave, a wine bar here at Virgin Wines, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the region of Alsace, found in the northeast of France, it borders up against Germany. And today we're going to be having a look at a Riesling, a Gewurztraminer, a Pinot Blanc, and a Cremant d'Alsace. So the first one we're going to take a closer look at today is produced from 100% Riesling. It's one of the key varieties grown in Alsace, and it produces a whole array of style of wines. Um, the key for this wine is made um, at the Trimbach Estate and it is 100% dry style of Riesling. It's a lovely sort of light, very light gold colour with lots of green sort of tinges and hues to it in terms of its um, presentation in the glass. On the nose you've got lots of classic sort of citrus fruit that you get from, from Alsace Riesling. Very lightly smoky sort of character in there as well. And it's underpinned by some lightly honeyed fruit. On the palate, it's bone dry, very mouth watering in terms of its profile. That citrus fruit comes through, there's some floral notes. Again, that slightly sort of smoky character that we associate with most Als Alsatian wines comes through and it's really, really, really nice. Quite Moorish in terms of its flavour. Food-wise, you can partner this with grilled fish, slightly less spicy Asian cuisine, and uh, hard cheeses are going to work as well. This wine here comes from an area near the village of Turkheim, and the Grand Cru itself is called Brand. The bottle here is um, referred to as a flute in terms of its style. It's quite grand looking, I think, makes a nice centrepiece for a dinner table. Produced in vintage 2016, so this wine has got a little bit of age to it now and hopefully you can see that um, in the colour of the wine. It's started to take on a much deeper golden sort of colour. In youth this wine would have been a few shades lighter. It's just started to take on a little bit more colour, becoming more golden in terms of its um, colour in the glass. Um, on the nose you'll find stone fruit, um, apricots, peaches and then it's slightly honeyed as well in terms of its aromatics but the region, the Grand Cru of Brand actually is sort of signified by wines of incredibly good structure so by that I mean they're very balanced between the alcohol and the acidity and the fruit characters that you get in there but there's a great minerality thanks to the granite in the soil of, of the area um, and that comes through um, on the palate really quite, quite markedly. You will get a slight perception of sweetness on, on, on the four palate, but this wine is, is far from a dessert wine. It's far from, far from sticky. It's still got great drive, great pers persistence, and actually it's a great wine to have with roast pork or roast chicken will work beautifully. Because of the slight exotic sort of characters within the wine, you, you compare that with mild to spicy Asian cuisine, whether that's curry or Thai fish cakes, um, that, they'll work beautifully as well. The next wine we're going to have a look at is made from one of Alsace's noble grape varieties, Pinot Blanc, and it's made at Carve de Turkheim from some vineyards that are in the area of Colmar. Wines made from Pinot Blanc in Alsace, I think for me personally, they're, they're the great gateway wines to the region. They're slightly not to do them a disservice, but they're slightly less complex than perhaps some of the, some of the other varieties that they use, um, Riesling and Gewurztraminer. So it's a little bit more of a, an introduction to, to the great wines that are produced in this wonderfully unique region of northeastern France. On the nose, it's quite light, sort of orchard fruit in terms of its character. And then on the palate, It's light, but it's also rounded. It makes it great to be drunk nice and chilled on its own. Um, and it can partner with charcuterie or fish dishes. Um, and, and then things in creamy sauces, chicken in creamy sauce is great. For me, one of the best kept secrets of the Alsace region um, are their cremants. Uh, they're made in exactly the same way as uh, traditional method champagne. So there's a first fermentation once the grapes are harvested and then the second fermentation takes place in the bottle to give, to give the wine its uh, natural bubbles. It's made from a base of Pinot Blanc and the grapes are harvested um, 
quite early really um, in, terms of the, um, in terms of the vineyard cycle and the grape growing season. And the reason for this is that you want to keep the grapes with not too much alcohol and then quite high acidity, um, which will help with the wine's freshness. And bearing in mind it's gonna, gonna under, undergo two fermentations, you need to keep, the, uh, to keep the liquid as fresh as possible. You sort of, you know, very light gold with some green flecks. It's got lovely, lovely persistent bubbles straight away. And on the no nose, it's all about vibrancy. It's all about freshness. It's all about citrus fruit with very, very gentle sort of classic brioche character from that second fermentation that happens in bottle. Again, straight from that nose onto the palate, there's lots of lemon sherbet character. It's super fresh, it's super crisp. Uh, the bubbles aren't aggressive at all. They're really soft. You know, it's a very drinkable bottle of wine. You know, you always get the little bit of theater as well when you pop the cork and um, it's, a, it's a great wine for, for celebrating um, and it represents great value for money, um, especially when you compare the quality level that you're getting here, um, when you compare it directly to some of the cheaper champagnes out there. I think it's great value for money. And um, as I said before, one of Alsace's sort of um, hidden gems. Thanks for watching along today. That's just a small taste of what the Alsace region as a whole has to offer. Um, head along to virginwines.co.uk to explore the full range.